Hi, welcome to another tutorial. Well, this one's following on from the Capture uh, Pick 32 uh, microchip. It's still the uh, Easy Pick Fusion version 7 from Microelectronica. Uh, what, the, what I've set up here, uh, some of it's courtesy of uh, Mark Pallone's at microchip, uh, a code he released a couple of years ago. Um, it's a rev counter that's good for 460 hertz up to one or two megahertz. Uh, I'm struggling with the frequencies of less than one, one or two hundred hertz, so I've set the uh, set it all up for 460 and above. Hopefully, you can see the signal generator I'm using. That's set to, set to 460 at the moment. So what I'll, I'll demonstrate the uh, thing working. So if I wind this frequency up, 470, 480, 495. So it's 500 and that's a little hertz there. Uh, 6, 7, 8, 9, that's 1 kilohertz. Wind this up. 2, 3, 4, 5. So that's, you can see, 10,000 hertz. I'll show you the uh, code and configuration in a minute. Uh, as before on the other, uh, capture video. Uh, I'm using RD8 which is IC1 capture. Um, I've got this linked off a USB power supply. I've actually got, just so you know, I've got, I'm using the TTL. I don't know if you can see it. I'm using the TTL output and not the uh, normal sine wave out. TTL is high voltage, three and a half volts. Right, so that's, oh, and you can see I've just knocked it. Messed up my frequency, right, there we are. So we're on 10,000 hertz, or 10 kilohertz. Right, so wind this up. Two, three, four, 50,000 hertz, 50 kilohertz, 60, 100,000. You can see it's spot on. One up now, 200, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Well, this, I've noticed this starts to mess about at 700. It's actually this waveform from here is not fantastic as opposed to this code, but you can see the it's capturing this heaven. You see the 8. 100,000 kilohertz or 800 kilohertz, that's pretty fast. 900,000, well, you can see it's measuring 900 or 902,000, but it's 900,000. And then one meg, so if you look at that, one, one, two, three, so that's 1,000, 1,000, so that's that's one megahertz. 1 1.1, And that's all this frequency generator or signal generator goes up to, two megs. So I can't do any more than that. So, so you see 2,000, 1,000 hertz change the scale you can see that there we're on two megs hopefully you can see that can you and that's all it goes up to two megs so if I put you back on there So that's 1 1.6, 1 1.7 megs, 1.6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, that's 1 meg, change the scaling on this, oh, don't know what I did there, 
you can see it's 700,000 hertz. Uh, yeah, 700 kilohertz. It starts messing them out for some reason. But 800,000, that's how it goes, and 600,000. You can see it's spot on. 4, 3, 2, 1. to one kilohertz <coughs> right now excuse me uh, what happens you, you you see last time I, I used capture one um, capture one and reading uh, buffer one when we slow down to less than 460 Hertz in this particular program like before those two buffers so I'll roll it down to 450. The two buffers start rolling over. So then you've got to account for buffer 1, 2 and 3, which this program isn't doing, which is why it overflows. You get this. starts counting down from there. And I haven't had the time to figure it out. If you can figure it out, I'd uh, welcome some notes on how to do it. I've spent a while to do it and I was going around in circles. So you can see it still counts, but it, obviously the calibration is now gone. See there, we're down to 300 hertz. But up at 460, we'll wind it back up. 460 is, is good. 450, that's it, it's overflowing. And I think you go down further, then buffer 3 and buffer 4 will come into play. Which is why you start seeing that's now buffer 4 coming in because it's even slower. Uh, anyway, on to the code. Yeah. Right, this is the software. Hopefully I've got you in view. Let me just move you over a bit. Right, so I've got all the ins set up for the captures, but we're only using capture one and two. When you want the slower frequencies, you need the three and four. So they're the unsigned ins, capture one, capture two, three and four. Uh, I'm using timer two. So timer, timer 2, uh, clear the timer 2 and turn timer 2 on, no uh, pre-scaling. Capture 2, or capture initialization. So the first, when the frequency is less than 700,000 hertz, 700 kilohertz, we're capturing every edge. And we're using timer 2, and bit 15, from the previous video you'll know, bit 15 of the IC1 configuration, or IC1 capture, bit 15 is on, that's the on bit. 7 means we're using a 16-bit timer. Those two bits there mean we're capturing every rising edge. So that's the capture initialization for frequencies less than 700,000 hertz. And that's the capture for over 700,000 hertz. So we're still using 16-bit timer. Bit 15 is on. And this 100 means we're capturing every fourth rising edge. Uh, this void a cap clear, so that's clearing what's well, effectively turning off the IC1 COM. Let me stop this timer. Turning off IC1 COM, which has the same effect of clearing the registers. Hopefully you can see all this. Same capture configuration, that's the um, capture uh, interrupt using microelectronics. I'm actually using um, Micro C Pro for PIC32 in case you didn't catch it in the last video. Well this is just an indicator turning an LED on and off at the start and end. These are the two buffers. So Capture 1 is IC1 buffer. Cap 2 is IC1 buff. Uh, there's another method of clearing the flag. So that's clearing the flag, turning the LED off this bit was just for the previous demonstration, which I've actually got on my clock. But there's the initialized capture. Uh, so enable interrupts. That's the uh, what do you call it? Priority interrupt configuration on this PIC32 anyway. Uh, and enabling interrupt. Just very uh, the, some of these bits are rimmed out for my other program. That's for this, uh, just the 
TFT display. That's initializing the MCU. And I think down here, which is D bit 8, is the input for our capture. Uh, that's in starting the touch panel. Right, these are the unsigned int counts to, or forget counts to, you just want counts 1. So it counts uh, unsigned long frequency. Don't need the results, that's for something else. Uh, and right, this is the main. So all you need initialize capture, timer 2 initialize, cap clear. So we're clearing the uh, IC1 capture and we're initializing it as well. This is uh, forget that bit, it's just the writing on the beginning of the screen. Right, so this is a wire loop, so this is what we're doing in a loop. So if the frequency is less or equal to 700,000, clear the capture, uh, then initialize it, so we're capturing every first rising edge. Counts equals cap1, take cap2, frequency equals now, my clock on this board is rough, running roughly at 3 megs. So frequency equals 3 megs divided by counts, and that gives us the frequency, uh, which is you know, spot on. Uh, if the frequency goes over 700,000, uh, we're still clearing, we have to clear the capture, and we're initialising capture 2, which you'll remember. So instead of using the cap one initialization, we're using a cap two, which is capturing every fourth rising edge. Uh, so that's why that's there. So go back down. So that's it. Yeah, if frequencies have seven hundred thousand, clear the IC one capture registers, initialize the capture every fourth rising edge. It still counts. Cap one to cap two frequency equals three million times 4 now because we're capturing every 4th rising edge so times 4 divided by counts and that gives us our working frequency counter up to well effectively it would be 3 over 3 megs or up to 3 megs if you want it over 3 megs you could then have um, a third initialization and where you then start capturing every 16th rising edge uh, and then finally, we just have the, this is just literally the data out of the screen. So long to string, frequency, and then result text, and then TFT, others. Oh, we're just writing the result there. Converting the long to a string, and then just writing it. And then the no delay, I'm just, I'm clearing it by putting, writing it again with yellow. So that's it. That's just a button for my clock, so forget that. So hopefully you'll think that's quite easy. You'll have to, uh, depending on what pick you've got and what frequency, you have to mess about with this frequency, depending on what you've got. This particular board uh, is running at 80 megs, but then the PLL is enabled. I've got PLL input divided by two, then the PLL multiplier, face look loop multiplier times 20, but then the peripheral bus, which is used for that input capture. The peripheral bus I've got divided by eight. Um, so I'm mean, cutting everything short. The, the short story is three megs here is makes my result spot on. Uh, accurate to within one hertz, but you saw as it as the frequency gets higher, it starts buzzing bells a bit. Uh, I could speed the clock up, but then I'd have to change this, uh, and it's not worth it because my signal generator isn't particularly good. So hopefully that um, shows you what to do. So that's all I've got. And the end of the while statement is down there, but this is all for the clock, which I've you can see read time show time. I've removed just for the purpose of this demonstration. Hopefully that all makes sense. Thank you very much.